Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been so long. I am so excited to get back into this. We are at Costco today for the first time in like two months. So I'm very excited to get in there. We have a nice long list. And you guys are gonna be seeing this band-aid throughout the entire deal here. I cut myself with a bread knife pretty badly. So Wonder Woman it is. Let's head in there. Sissy has been going through these applesauces like crazy. Right when we got in the door, they were here just under $10 and you get 24 of them. So we're gonna grab a couple of these guys, at least two. She'll pull out like five at a time. It's like they knew what was on my list. All in this front area, they have like three things on my list. This one is just organic, extra virgin olive oil. That's so nice. It's all in like one little aisle right here. Ooh, they also have some smoke alarms. We don't need that. And a painting kit. I have been DIYing everything in the house. I know, it's going on and off, huh? The lighting in here is going dim and then bright. We're also gonna grab some maple syrup right here. 12 bucks for organic maple syrup. You will not find a better deal than that. So if you guys don't know, we just moved in to our home. I share that all over on Instagram, but I bought a toilet brush cleaner like from Target and it's just a really basic one, but I like this. It's from OXO, OXO, however you say that. It has two of them in there. I like that. We're gonna get that because it's only $17 for two of them, $5 off right now. Oh my gosh, technical difficulties. This is such a cute little entryway bench with the hooks on it and it's got little drawers beneath it too. It's $500, so I'm pretty sure you could build this for a lot cheaper, but in case you're not looking to do that, this is a great option, super cute. Logan has started to really get into candy, so I'm gonna grab a bag of these Unreal ones so that we at least have a better option on hand and I don't feel as bad about giving it to him. $10, it's a pretty good price for these Unreal ones. They're all like vegan and you know, all that good stuff that we typically look for. It has been a while since we've grabbed some of these hippies. They are so great to dip. I, if you can't tell, I am doing like all of our dried goods right now before I go and do the refrigerated stuff. So we're gonna grab a bag of these. These are $6.99 right now. So they haven't gone up in price, which is surprising. I am not seeing our Siete tortilla chips here, but I am seeing these Siete churro chips. If you guys haven't tried these, they are so good. $5.99, so we're definitely gonna grab a bag because always cheaper here at Costco. And a much bigger bag too. I'm gonna grab some of those. And my children dropped the hippies on the floor. These things are sturdy though. We're also gonna grab some of these granola minis. They just come, that's a different color on the package. Anyway, they come with mixed berry and chocolate chip and my kids love these as you can tell. <laughs> Usually they only have one of these options at a time, but right now they have them all. Organic layered fruit bars, that's it bars, and the bare fruit rolls. So we're gonna have to pick out one of these at least. I love to keep these in my car. They actually have a trial today. It's the Chicago mix. It's so good. It's by Creators, $4.69 right now. But I actually came for these. The Simple Mills almond flour crackers, these are awesome. $10.79, you get two massive bags in there. I actually use it as a topping instead of Ritz crackers on my mom's chicken and rice casserole. Of course you guys know we came for some marinara sauce. We have been missing this stuff. We go through it so fast. Use it on everything from pizza to pasta. It's so good. $10.99, grabbing at least probably four of them. You know, I gotta like restock my food storage now that we've moved. We ate through it all before we moved so that we wouldn't have to move it. And now I don't have much stored up and I love to be able to just shop my own pantry. Olives are something else that I just had to buy at the regular grocery store and I am always so surprised at how expensive they are. I got a tiny little jar for like $7.50. These two massive jars are $16. So, and the olives are way bigger, of course, but I just used some olives and rosemary to make an olive rosemary sourdough bread and it was so good. This is so interesting to me. Japanese barbecue sauce. Look, it's like super watery. I bet that's actually really good. It contains wheat and stuff like that that I don't eat, so we won't get it, but $10. That would be something really fun to try. Our favorite barbecue sauce is actually this Kinder's Organic Mild one. It's got actually a little bit of a kick for being mild, but it is so good. I just grabbed some of this Primal Kitchen organic ketchup, $10, but you get three of them. There's three of them in this little pack. Organic and unsweetened, you know, all the good stuff, but actually I'm gonna grab one of these salsas. This is Derek's favorite salsa. It's just the Kirkland one. It's medium. I'd say it's a pretty true medium. $8.99 for two of them. It's a really good deal. He loves using those on nachos, tacos, all the things. I actually just started eating eggs again and I think it's been doing okay with my system, but then I tried this avocado oil uh, mayo from Primal Kitchen and it is so good. It's so creamy. Um, $8.99, but this is a massive jar of it. So we're gonna grab one of these for the food storage. 
Another really, really close second for my favorite <laughs> marinara sauce is actually this Victoria one, but not this specific one. This is the organic one. I've tried this one before too, it's okay, but um, the white linen one, if you can ever find the Victoria white linen, it is so good. I love having seaweed on hand for a quick snack for me, so I'm gonna grab one of these. It's a 10 pack for $10.99. I feel like this is actually a really great deal. And I recently ordered some off of Thrive. You guys know I love Thrive. I did not love the seaweed I got off there. The flavor was fine, but the packs were so tiny. It was like five pieces to a pack and it was way more expensive than here. We are running low on rice and we are a rice family. We have a ton of rice just because gluten-free, like rice is a really cheap grain for that. So I really have been liking this organic brown rice. I like freezing this stuff after I've cooked it up in the instant pot. So that's also been great. Anyway, $12 for 12 pounds. That's a great deal. We're going to grab two. I just grabbed a case of black beans down there and now I'm down the spice aisle. So I grabbed some of this ground cinnamon. Only $4.69 for this massive thing. Do you know how much you'd pay for this in a regular grocery store? Beyond. So we're going to grab some of this guy. We don't have really any spices except for salt um, because we just moved. So I kind of got a stock up again. Garlic. That's also a good one. $6.49 for this big guy. I'm going to get some vinegar. We happen to be out. This one is $3.29. I have been dying to make some of our own weed killer using this dish soap and salt. So I'll let you guys know how it goes over on my Instagram, but I feel like it's a pretty good price for this stuff. So where should we put this? What are you doing? Also grabbing some of our favorite avocado oil spray. $12.99, it definitely went up a little bit in price, but it is worth it and so easy to use with my cast iron. We love using this stuff. We're gonna grab some organic brown sugar. I love using coconut sugar, but the price of it has really skyrocketed ever since um, inflation. <laughs> so we're gonna grab this because it's seven and a half pounds for $8. That's a good deal. I'm gonna put it in one of our like plastic bins whenever I build our pantry, which should be happening in like the next week. This makes me sad to see the organic flour is going away. So I'm gonna grab several bags of this. That's what that asterisk means, it's going away. $9 for a 10 pound bag of organic all purpose flour. I use this in our sourdough. So we are still gluten free aside from sourdough. I feel like with sourdough, because it eats away a lot of the gluten, we are able to digest it better. It's a lot easier for us, but anyway. We're gonna grab several of these and I'm actually gonna put them in a big five gallon food grade bucket with a gamma seal lid on them and store them in my pantry. I know I put peanut butter on our list and I'm honestly, I forgot to check if we really needed it, but I'm gonna grab it because this stuff is just way too good of a deal to pass on. And I have seen where they haven't had stock of this for several weeks, so $10 for two of them. Great on smoothies, yogurt bowls, smoothie bowls, all that kind of good stuff in baked goods, it's all good. They have our oats here, so I'm gonna grab some while they're still here. I've seen these guys disappear so fast. $9, I wish they were on sale, but these are another one that I'm gonna put in those food grade gallon, or five gallon buckets with the gamma seal lid and then keep them in our pantry. So I'll grab one more for good measure. I already put two in the cart. I just grabbed a box of these organic raisins. I love to put those in our cinnamon raisin sourdough bread or on toast or I don't know. I, oh, I love raisins in my oatmeal too. But I also grabbed some of this blackberry lemonade right here. We're gonna try this guy. Not the best of ingredients, but we love juice. It's fun. And then they wanted to pop these open. So I went ahead and let them. We grabbed these organic tart cherries. They're dried and they're pretty good. They do have some added sugar though. I wish they didn't do that. We are on the hunt for some more things. Let's catch you up because I grabbed a few things off camera just because things were getting crazy. They handed out some smoothies and the kids loved them, but I had to be on supervising duty. <laughs> grabbed three of these almond flour tortillas by Siete. If you're allergic to corn or grains or anything like that, these are a great option. Heat them up first in a pan, just real quick, 15 seconds on each side before you eat them and they're great texture. Some organic string cheese bacon. Um, we also grabbed some of these dairy-free cheese. I really don't eat this very much because it's not great for you. Hang on, mommy's talking. But sometimes you just need something to hold it together. So I like to have some of this guy in the freezer and it's a way better price here. I think that's it. Oh, we also grabbed some almond milk right down here too. Also not the best for you, but we will get there. We are slowly switching things over. Always trying to improve, but look what they have you guys. Do you remember this from gosh, it must've been last year or the year before. I am obsessed with this avocado salsa by Good Foods. We're definitely grabbing some. It's great ingredients, of course, cause it's Good Foods. 5.69, so it's on sale right now. 
Also might grab some of this avocado mash. I'm the only one who likes avocado or guac or anything like that. So these singles are great because you can freeze them and then the whole thing doesn't go bad and I can just eat it at my own pace. Of course, you guys know we're getting our favorite pickles ever. These are the Grillo pickles, super fresh, super crunchy, great flavor as well. They're $5.99. Some of the worst packaging though, I swear. They did make it a little better, but it's still really tough to get into. So just open it over a sink if you do get those. But I thought these were interesting. These are Italian grilled vegetables with sunflower oil. Never heard of this before. $13.49. If you know what these are or what you would put them on, let me know down in the comments below. But I also found these Amy Lou mango jalapeno sausages. They are $4 off, making them $12. You can freeze these. They're great to freeze. These sound a little bit too spicy for us, but they're fully cooked and they're super easy to heat up for a lunch or a quick dinner or whatever. These would be great on the grill. Speaking of Amy Lou though, we are gonna grab some of our favorite chicken breakfast sausage. This guy is also great to freeze. Both love this stuff. I was about to pick up some Spindrift and we do love Spindrift. We just have quite a bit of it left on hand. It's very different from sparkling water like Waterloo, but I do love Waterloo as well. And I haven't seen these flavors yet. Cherry limeade, blackberry lemonade, and passion fruit. So we're gonna try this. $8.49 for 24 of these guys so great ice cold especially on the summer day we are getting somewhere people and i'm mainly telling that to myself because it feels like a huge marathon anytime i come in for a costco haul but we just grabbed some foil 20.99 i feel like that went up that's kind of expensive for two of these rolls and then we also yeah. grabbed some paper towels and some toilet paper this is something that i have been waiting for like a month to come get <laughs> it is this contact paper uh, you get two rolls for $20. It's a great deal, especially compared to what you can get it for on Amazon. I have already used it on my shelves and love it, but ran out and need some more. Look how full this cart is getting. It's getting insane. I grabbed four of the organic ground turkeys. I plan on not coming back here for a little while. Organic chicken uh, breasts, I grabbed two of those. And we're actually gonna grab one of these pork shoulder butts. We're gonna make the Cafe Rio sweet pork, like copycat sweet pork, if you guys have ever been to Cafe Rio. You know, it's an obsession. So these guys are like $35 a piece. It's kind of expensive, but they're all around 13 to 14 pounds. So it's a pretty good deal. I ended up having so much stuff that I had to split it into two carts. So I'm gonna do a final cart for you guys. <laughs> Maybe a final two carts, okay? Blackberry lemonade right here, cherry juice. We've got some sliced bacon. <laughs> contact paper under here and some chicken. We got some of these made good granola minis, some vinegar. We actually got two bags of these. Some breakfast sausage, the unreal chocolate bars, strawberry free cheese, some peanut butter right under there. And this is some avocado oil, two bags of the organic brown rice, some fruit roll-ups, the little bear rolls, two of the applesauce pouches, some almond milk. We grabbed some baking soda. We use this in our laundry instead of detergent. Three bags of the oats. Some pork shoulder, four things of ground turkey, some stew meat for some steak chili, raisins. We also grabbed some toilet paper and some paper towels, some shelf stable salsa. I think I said raisins already. The um, toilet brushes and then some almond flour crackers right down there. And then moving on to our other cart, we grabbed some gold potatoes right here. This is organic olive oil, some maple syrup, three things of the primal ketchup. We have, I think I grabbed five of these Rayo's pasta sauces. Yes, I see you. Avocado salsa. We grabbed some peaches right here that are so fragrant. You can smell them across the store. Some really cute little baby feet. Some of the hippies, which Sissy is like ready to chow down on. The Siete churro chips celery, brown mushrooms, seaweed, some tomatoes. Right under there we have green grapes and then we also grabbed some red grapes somewhere in here. Some olives, carrots right here, siete almond flour tortillas, watermelon, asparagus. We grabbed some green beans, some bananas right down there and then some ground beef. Oh yeah, a bunch of spices that we found like cumin. We grabbed mayo. This is garlic, oregano, cumin, and cinnamon. And I know I grabbed a taco seasoning too. Oh, broccoli right here too. I don't know if I said that. I think that's all. We need to grab diapers though. Look how cute these little guys are. They're playing the banjo as you walk by. I think they're a hundred dollars for, it comes with both of them. They also have that cute little pumpkin. I see these white chocolate cocoa bombs filled with marshmallows. Super cute for Halloween. I love all this fall stuff coming out. Fall is one of my favorites, fall and summer. Cute little throw pillows here. 
They've got a couple different ones. It looks like these ones are $10.99. Around here they have like a little berry wreath. Super pretty. Would look great up against like a blue door or a white door or something to make it pop. $60 for that, it's a 28 inch. If I look windblown, it's because I am. Holy cow, we just spent $1,048 in there. I guess that's what moving does to you and having literally nothing in the house. So hopefully that'll last us like a month and a half to two months. I'm assuming I'm going to have to get some supplemental veggies and stuff like that. But otherwise, hope you guys had a great time watching and seeing me roll all that stuff around. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.